Hey everyone, welcome back to another Windows Fixer tutorial. Today we will fix an issue where live screen sharing drops your monitor refresh rate to 60 Hz. For example, if your monitor is set to 165 Hz, it switched to 60 Hz when you stream. Let's solve this problem. Discord sometimes lowers the refresh rate during screen sharing. This is usually caused by hardware acceleration or power saving settings. Now let's fix it step by step. So the step number one check discord settings what you can do here simply open your discord and then you need to go into the settings once you are here now simply you need to find the advanced settings and then make sure disable the hardware acceleration and also disable the stream streamer mode sometimes for me it's work and might be it will work for you as well anyways you need to do this and once you disable this make sure Click on OK and then it will restart the Discord. Now try it out. The second step is update your GPU drivers. Now use NVIDIA or AMD software to update your graphic driver which is the best way. In my case mostly I use the GeForce to update my drivers but in case if you don't use the GeForce or any NVIDIA application, sorry my bad, right click on this and then NVIDIA app. Probably now you will get the NVIDIA app instead of GeForce but if you are using the older version then make sure update your drivers. Go into the driver sections and then choose here the game ready drivers and then check for updates. If there is any available then update it. Now might be you guys don't have this one then the second thing is a lot of people are doing actually mis mistake over here. Simply you need to search here the NVIDIA driver instead of the specific you know model like mostly people search here like nvidia drivers 1060 6 gb gpu or something like they are mentioning the actual product which is not a good uh, idea because you'll get the older version with this method c425.31 that's totally wrong you need to search here the nvidia drivers first open the nvidia official download page and then you need to search your product over here I agree and then GTX 1060 and you can see here the 1060 uh, now for Windows 10 32 Windows 10 64 bit right now I'm using Windows 10 64 bit so choose here and then you will get here the complete detail if it's verified then click on find and then probably it will redirect you on the result page where you can uh, get the download now at, at this point you will see here the nvidia studio drivers and geforce uh, game ready drivers so probably we are going with the game ready drivers and uh, just because if you are a gamer who prioritize day of launching support for the latest games patches and dlcs uh, choose game ready drivers otherwise if you are an editor then you need to go with the studio driver for better performance in my case i'm going here with the geforce click on view and you will get here the latest drivers currently the release date is tuesday november 12 2024 and the actual size and the version you can see the difference between version and then click on download and install it in your pc after this your problem hopefully solved but if still you are facing adjust monitor settings what you can do here again right click on your desktop and then you need to click on the display settings and then scroll down you will get here the advanced display settings once you are here you will see here the refresh rate uh, choose here the highest available first you need to share your screen and if it's dropping then you can choose here the again highest uh, refresh rate and that that will probably work for you now the another step is try windows sharing now sharing the app or game in windows mode instead of full screen because in 23h2 window uh, windows 11 there's a lot of bugs related to the game so in that case if you are using the 23h2 then you need to play any game in windowed mode what i mean is just launch the just suppose i'm launching valorant now what i mean is go into the settings first and then video and then choose here the display mode on windowed full screen instead of full screen choose here and then hit apply it will work perfectly on 23h2 version of windows but in case 
the another thing is sometimes it's permission issues so what you need to do here you close your discord from here like this and then search again discord right click on it run as administrator click on yes if there's any update available it will automatically work after launching this try it out might be this will solve your issues now the last thing is disable power saving saving features open your gpu control panel click here right click and then nvidia control panel and if you are using amd of course you need to find this option in amd go into the manage 3d settings probably you will get here three options i guess the first one is open gdi capability choose here the prefer performance open uh, gl rendering gpu choose your specific gpu mostly uh, mostly laptop users will face the issue over here they will get here the two different gpus and they actually need to choose here the external gpu the powerful one and then power management mode choose here prefer maximum performance then prefer refresh rate choose highest available and then another texture filtering quality so here you can choose the high performance again then hit apply and save you can also add here the obs settings and even though the game you are playing so in my case you can see obs is over here and everything is perfect perfectly optimized so this will change your experience if these steps don't work you can use obs virtual camera for screen sharing with full control so in case if you are trying to sharing something you need to join any uh, lobby then screen share and then capture devices you need to choose here the obs and then choose here the resolution that you want and then go live. that that's it for today's guide if this video helped make sure to like share and subscribe see you in the next one take care and happy gaming bye bye